one of the things that I do with my Marines every single year on a couple different days of the year is uh, I run the MRF, right? But we just don't run the MRF. You know, they have to get a history lesson about why it's important, about why we do it. We all went out to the track, we paid tribute. We uh, suffered a little together um, to pay homage to those that came before us and made the ultimate sacrifice. Awesome family, great group of Marines. It just really couldn't get any better. You know, just have all the things that any, any person could ever hope for. So that was the day before, May 30th and, um, of 2017. Got my stuff ready, got geared up, and uh, started to bike up. Got into the intersection, out of the corner of my eye, really no time to react. Just got smoke right in the intersection. It was bad. My leg was mangled. It was, um, it was twisted, and it was twisted in a way it was when I landed, I skidded on my back and it was laying. I could see it in the air, fly like flailing around. I knew it was broken and destroyed. And um, when I landed, it was like laying in between my legs. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of surreal. Um, but fortunately, all the things we talked about before, you know, all that mental toughness from, you know, enduring all those hardships and doing that PT and all that stuff. You know, I was able to stay calm. Um, by the way, the ambulance took forever to get there. Um, maybe just because time standing still when you're messed up, but it seemed like a long time to be laying there. The guy that was there that called 911, I told him to call my wife and um, tell her that, uh, tell, her, tell my wife I, I'm not going to die, but I'm real f***ed up but I'm gonna make it to meet me at the emergency room with the kids. And, um, and that she did. Uh, she was there when I got there and uh, it was important to me to see my kids. And, uh, I mean, you never can tell. I was pretty sure I wasn't gonna die, um, but you never know. I had everybody trying to convince me that I wasn't gonna lose my leg or my foot. I told my wife, I said, if it looks, if it looks bad, I don't feel bad about telling them to amputate my foot because I won't be able to make that decision. You're gonna to have to make the decision for me. And um, they loaded me up in a helicopter, took me to Springfield, uh, Missouri. And uh, I woke up three days later without a foot. <laughs> yeah. So that was the day.